been making a lot of uh, videos for a while now. It's been, um, you know, very hard. I've been busy with my final exams and everything, but now I'm off school. Finals are over, so I've been making a video. And I got a request uh, inbox with uh, some uh, guy, one of us, one of my subscribers, saying that if I could make a video for how to change prices on a RSPS item prices such as AGS, Armado God Sword, uh, you know, um, Dragon Claws or whatever, you know. So today I'm gonna be making that for you guys and here you go. Alright, so Dick Klein let's log in for example. Um, this is my friend's source by the way. Uh, the Pure Escape is called Pure Escape on Leash or whatever. Actually, I'm gonna close the client because it's not needed at the moment, so. Go ahead. Alright, so. Here's the source, and how to change a price item is in uh, data folder. If you go to data folder and open, uh, so you go to source folder to begin. So let's just go to the beginning, beginning right here. Alright, so you come to the main folder. This is your client, this is your source. So you open up the source. Once you open up the source, you go to data folder, which is here. You click on the data folder and then there's a bunch of things will show up here bands CFG folder characters whatever but what you're gonna go for is CFG and I have to open the CFG folder so pure escape pure escape source go to source and then data folder and CFG and once you come to CFG you will find something that says prices.txt txt stands for text so what you want to do is right click on the text file and open with a uh, notepad just normal notepad <clears throat> then D, you'll find a, uh, a notepad just like this you'll find letters and num me, sorry, numbers just like this and over here this is the item ID and this is the price so let's look for AGS and Armadillo Godsword the uh, item ID is 11694 by next here's Armadillo Godsword there is no name, so you have to have the code in order to do it. So yeah. So an armadillo god sword is worth one billion, I'm guessing here. So you want to change the one billion to five hundred million, for example. And all you gotta do is just uh, backspace it and then type five hundred one two three one two three. So now it's five hundred million. You save it, and then you have to compile it. Once you compiled it, once you finish compiling it, you have to restart the server. And once you restart it, just run it again, and you will find that the price has been changed to 500 million. Now I'm also going to be showing you guys a test about the, the test about it. See, so yeah, I'm also going to show you guys a test just to show you guys. So now it's done compiling. Now what, you want, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the client folder here. I'm going to run the clients. The client will right. log in. Okay. So once you hit play, this is a server basically. And then, uh, just let me show you guys the server a little bit here. Alright, anyway, let's continue. Alright, so AGS, let's spawn AGS right now. Item 116, let me spawn 5 just in case. Alright, as you guys see, it's on little god sword. So now let's go to the shopkeeper, and then I'll show you guys, because you have to sell it to the shopkeeper. Once you actually, uh, sell it to the shopkeeper then yeah, that will show the price because you cannot sell it elsewhere besides the shopkeeper and if you sell it to um, what do you call it, the guile store, the weapon store or whatever it's going to only cause pr more problems for you because um, uh, uh, it's going to like when you sell it, to, sh uh, sh when you sell it to, the, to the weapon store instead of the shopkeeper it will buy for less so always remember if you want to sell anything you should go and sell it to the shopkeeper not to the weapon store, so, so you should sell to the shopkeeper. That's right. Well, let's go. Let's go ahead to the shopkeeper. Should be over here, and let's go ahead and give it a sell and see how it is. Right. 
and buy anything shop. So let's see how much of them's worth right now. It's one billion worth. Right? Show you guys. It's one billion worth right now. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna change the price of this to five hundred million. I already did, but what I didn't do is I didn't uh, restart the service. So you guys saw that I already did. I'm gonna show you guys just one more time. Before I restart the service, you guys see that it works. So let's go to source folder again, data folder, CFG folder, prices.txt. Search for item number 1694. You see, as it is 500 million, just I'm gonna show I'm gonna turn it 300 just to show you guys that it works. And I'm gonna save this, exit, come back to Pure Scape Source. I'm gonna go ahead and compile this. Once I'm done compiling, I'm gonna restart the server. Just finish compiling, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna close the server. Okay, log that. Alright, now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna run the server. Enter world. And let's go back to the shock area. Right, spawn item 116 and 4. Spawn like 5 of them, and then go to the uh, shock people here. How much is it worth right now? Oh, I sold all of them. Why did I sell all of them? Well, so here we go. Anyways, value is 300 million. Item 11694. Spawn one more time. Let's show you guys. 300 million is the value. Like I changed, like I changed, like I said, I changed the price to 300 million, so it's worth 300 million. And that's pretty much how to change an item uh, price. And then that's pretty much it. So you, all you gotta do is pretty much uh, once again go to the source folder, data folder, CFG folder. Prices.txt, and you can change prices for anything here, you know, like anything from uh, AGS to any armor to any item, basically to any weapon. So the P ring that I'm wearing right now, perfect ring, as you guys all, I'm pretty sure you guys all know that. It's item ID 773, so this is the perfect ring. And that should be here. So item ID 773. Let's see how much that's worth. That's worth 2.25k. So if you want to go ahead and change that, make okay. it max cash. Go ahead and do that and save, and you have to compile again, and then it works. So that's pretty much how to change an item uh, price. If there's any problems that you're gonna have, please let me know, and I will be glad to help you guys out by by helping by commenting, or you can just uh, inbox me. And please rate, comment, and subscribe. Thank you.